Hi, my name is Dennis Gettinger, and this is my Senior Spotlight. All right, here we are with our first Senior Spotlight, and hello. it is Dennis Gettinger. Say hello, Dennis. Hi, I'm Dennis. All right, Dennis, tell the folks a little bit about yourself. So I've been with with the youth group since sixth grade. Um, I've gone weekly Wednesdays and Sundays when we used to do that. Now I come Wednesdays and the youth group has been really impactful on my life because it's given me a sense of like a place to be. It's yeah. it's been great. Cool. And where'd you go to high school, Dennis? You just graduated. I just graduated from Dreyfus in West Palm. And uh, what made you choose Dreyfus? Why'd you go there? Honestly. Yes, honestly. Yeah, I, I, I wanted the good academics without having to stay up until midnight doing homework every day, like Suncoast kids do. So, and I really enjoyed it there because it was you know, a good academic environment for me, but also I was exposed to the arts in a way that I wouldn't have been anywhere else. So it gave me a really unique perspective. Was there any particular category of the arts that you were like, oh, I, that's really cool. I didn't think I'd like that. I really like photography. Like I didn't always view it as something that was like so difficult and, you know, such a interesting means of expression but now you know I've come to appreciate it a lot more than I used to all right and I really enjoy it good very good it's nice to explore new things like that it really is it is now I don't think I need to ask this question because of how you're dressed but tell the folks what's going on so I will be going to the University of Florida. Uh, my move-in date is June 23rd, so very soon. Very soon. Very soon. So very soon. That's exciting. Fact, you've got to go up there this week, right? Yeah, yeah, I leave Thursday for orientation. Good luck surviving the sweltering heat. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, no bueno. Bring a hat. Hat won't help you. No. And, and what do you, what's your path taking you down at UF? Where are you going? So, with this? I'm going for some kind of engineering. I've yet to choose my major because I do that at orientation, but okay. I'm going to be going for some kind of mechanical engineering with computer science. If I can do a double major, I'll do a double major with mechanical and computer science. That would be no slouch that's yeah but that's what i'm looking for you know yeah. I, I want it to be an intense environment so that i can learn as much as possible okay well it is a great environment i, I i'm not biased in any way whatsoever no, not. towards you going to uf yeah it's a great choice yeah yeah Excellent choice um so enough about your future let's talk about that that youth group that you've been going to since sixth grade because oh, oh yeah the youth group yeah okay now because you even go back further to, back down to children's ministry area sure do group, yeah um in your in your what's that seven years involved in the youth group what mm. what's what stands out to you as some of your favorite things that you were a part of so as cliche as it might be mission trips are one of the one of my favorite things that we ever did it, it was just such an amazing experience it was nice to get away from home what i liked about it this might be unpopular with some people my age but i really like not having access to cell phones or the internet that is a plus because it you know it it's a deviation from how our lives are every day with the technology and you know, the social networks kind of drive us apart in a way. So yeah. it was nice to get away from that. And then I had amazing experiences doing things in, you know, the United States and Guatemala. And oh, that's right. You went to Guatemala. I did. It You're did. On that crew. 
it was great. It was great. Yeah, there's a, I, I love this picture I have. I don't know why I have like pictures yeah. in my desk, but like. Oh my. You and Albert in Guatemala. Oh yeah. Doing some random Yeah, skit. we were doing a skit for kids in a little village or what, whatever you would call that on top of a mountain. Yep. That's cool. It was fun. Um, it, in this, what I'll say, like the, this is a strange memory that sticks with me, but I still use it in conversations with kids. I think it was your, maybe your first or second mission trip in middle school. We mm -hmm. went to a recreation. Yep. And the giant field they had, and you were in full soccer mode. Oh yeah. Yeah. You that were, was the... remember you were trying to juggle past a hundred and you kept getting stuck at like 96. Yeah. And like the first day you were still like, Oh, I can't break a hundred. And by the end of the trip, you were up to 300. Yeah. Cause it was like, once you cleared that barrier, yep. it, was, it was just it's much more of a mental thing than anything yeah. else. And I, I legitimately, I use that story for kids that are stuck with something. They just can't move past uh -huh. it. It's, it really sticks in my head of how important your, your mental state is when you're trying to accomplish yeah. something new. Yeah. So there you go. That it was seventh grade. It was seventh grade. First okay. year that I did recreation. Before that, we did the um, team effort. Team effort. That's it. Yeah. yeah. I like. Um, Not that yeah, that's also where a lot of the the crazy stories of youth group happen. Uh -huh. We're just. I can't believe X Y Z happened, and it was on a mission trip. Yeah. Now, there's always a least favorite thing that we do for everybody. Everybody's got their own thing. What's something that you're like, ah, I just didn't enjoy that very much? Uh, it's hard to think of something that I didn't really like. I, I didn't like the bus ride when the bus kind of caught on fire a little, or it didn't catch on fire, but it started. It definitely broke smoke. down. Yeah, it was my sixth. That was my first mission trip that we went on way back. And Is that then, the one where uh, we had wow. to open all the windows in the rain? The water was coming in through the roof. Yeah, it's like wow, it smells in here. What's that? It's like, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. The bus. So, that was the swan song of the bus. I think that was the last time it went anywhere. It was. It was. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll agree. Least favorite thing: the bus. I agree. I I enjoyed the bus, except for that. Except that was, for when it broke down and left us stranded in the middle of Orlando, and our parents had to come. Well, parents had to come and get kids from Orlando. I will say that was mildly unpleasant. Yes. Um, in youth group, we play lots of games. Um, what's a game that you enjoy playing? I really like volleyball. When we used to do the volleyball league. That was a lot of fun, but I also yes. like the game and Gaga Ball. Gaga Ball is always going to be one of my favorites. Okay. There you go. Um, yeah, I'm glad that we were able to get the Gaga Pit set up recently again. So it, it lives on. Yeah. It lives uh -huh. on. Now, more importantly, like why, why is getting involved in a youth group important in your mind? So I think that it's really important because it builds a sense of community. It gives you a place where you feel like you belong. So, you know, even if things are rough at home or in school or in any other part of your life, you can go to youth group and feel like you're part of a community. That's probably the biggest thing for me. And then it was also a good environment for me to grow as a person and spiritually and I couldn't imagine where I would be now if I hadn't gone to youth group for all those years. Thank you. Um, I think a lot of people feel the same way. It's trying. That's what we try to do is provide a place where you can come in and just feel good just to be there and kind of put yeah. the rest of the world outside for a couple hours. Absolutely. Hence, hence the no phones. Yes. That's, that's hence the no phones. Yep. Are there any lessons you've learned 
since sixth grade along the way that you feel like you would impart some wisdom onto, let's say, another sixth grader? So I've learned that a lot of things that feel like they really matter at the time don't matter as much as you think they would. Like, I thought that I was going to be ruined from being off of Snapchat for a week and not being able to talk to my friends and stuff on the mission. As stupid as it sounds. Lose your streaks. Yeah, I I did. I lost a, a thousand day streak, but that is besides the point. It's important to realize that life goes on, even if, you know, things don't go quite as you planned. Right. All right. That is it. That is valuable. And lastly, um, college is coming at you very rapidly. And, and how would this scholarship be able to help you pursue what you want to do? So as a college, like I'm not in college yet, but I'm already worried about how I'm going to pay for all this stuff and student debt is such a big issue right now. It's just crushing. So everything helps, you know, that $500 could go towards a couple of weeks of me being able to buy food and supplies or buy books, you know, it'll be tremendously helpful to me. Yeah, books are surprisingly expensive. Unpleasantly so. Unpleasantly surprisingly expensive. That is yes. correct. Well, Dennis, it's been great watching you grow and develop. I, I know you had, like, it's, I feel like you were, like, I hate to bring up a painful situation, but, like, you were clearly on, like, the soccer path, and then the injury happened and it's like it completely derailed you. And I know so many kids who were just, who would just be like, my life's over. And, you know, you're still involved in soccer, you ref. And, you know, I've heard many stories of you dishing out red cards to people because yeah. you're vengeful. Yeah. But, uh, you um, know, it's, it's been great to see you refocus and really tackle stuff that you probably would not have been able to, put as much effort in if you were still so ingrained yeah. in the soccer culture. So yeah, of course. It's been a pleasure. And I'm, I'm glad you made a wise decision on your schooling. I, I know you had your heart set on others, but you'll be all right. Because like oh, you said God. earlier, Dennis, things that you think are important now may not be so important down the road. Yep. So no, I'm very hopeful and very appreciative for all the this youth group and you have done for me so i want to thank you for that you're welcome it's been a pleasure say bye to the people dennis all right bye folks <laughs>